hello lovely people welcome back once again to the nice one channel this is Benny's from niceroy.com and niceroy online on etsy um i had yet another request from eric uh, sorry and this quieting to do a fitted mask shout outs to you ns thank you so much for inspiring me always okay so this is one of my favorite masks and um, that i do i do make for family and friends and i also sell it on my etsy um shop so if you want you can check it out okay so um, i'm going to leave the link to the um pattern in the description below so you can have it um what you're going to do is to cut two pieces of our main fabric and four pieces of our lining fabric because i'm doing three layers and a filter pocket and this mask was so good it there is no foggy glasses in case you wear glasses and it fits you so well with no nose wire you can choose to put nose wire in but even without nose wire it fits so well this is one of my favorite okay so going ahead to do it I'm going to put the right size together for the main fabric I'm going to stitch all along this part and also sorry let me say we are going to need um two pieces of elastic this is 14 inches each now looking at this they are adjustable they are adjustable so i this is kind of a little longer and i just i just don't fit them at the ends i let it run through so when it pulls it, it pulls it together it gives you a, a great fit so that is how it is okay so we this is 14 inches for each then this is what i'm going to use to do the adjustment that is the small toggles and this is what i'm going to use to feed the elastic through the toggle okay so now we can go on so i'm going to take this to put right sides together and so the end here I'll take two of this and so the end and take two of this and so the end as well they have all been sewn now what I'm going to do is to take one of the lining I'm going to use it to create the filter um, pocket so I'm taking about two and a half inches off from here now let me see i'll take two inches off then i'll take it to the sewing machine sorry i took two inches off you see one side is longer than the other you see this is shorter so i'll take it to the sewing machine fold it to the wrong side and stitch on it now after stitching on it this is how it looks like so one side is shorter then other side is longer now we are going to put them all together and take it to the sewing machine and so so what i do is i take this turn it to the right side i put it down and i take the one that i cut the part of turn it also to the right side i put it on it and i take this and put the right side to the right side of the lining so let me repeat this you take the first lining which has the two long sides together you turn the right side out then let the right side face you you take the one with the shorter side let the right side face you so it will be the wrong side of that one to the right side of the first one you put down you put it on top then you take your the main fabric you put the right side of the main fabric to the right side of the one that you have laid down then now you align them 
together and now you can pin it make sure they are all in line you pin it all around so make sure you catch the shorter part the shorter side should be in between the first and the main fabric okay so you keep pinning till you pin all this all all along the edges leaving the side where we are going to put the elastic you leave those two sides you pin the top and the bottom after pinning all the top and the bottom you now take it to the sewing machine you stitch the bottom and you stitch the top as well and i mostly use sager because um, when i use sager i don't have to use the scissors to create any notches in it so if you use a regular sewing machine after sewing you create notches in it if you use a sager you are good to go no need to create any um notches in it so now all the stitch on the top and the bottom so we go to the size that has all the three layers remember we cut one shot so we won't be able to figure out how to turn it out well but when we go to the side with the, all the three layers showing you pull the two layers to one side then you turn it out with the main fabric on another side So this is how it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to top stitch to the end and top stitch to the end. What I normally do is when I'm top I'm top stitching this part, I leave just a little gap in case you would like to put in a, a nose wire then it will be easy to slide it in because th this space will be created here the filter pocket space is created here when you stitch there will be a small space here that you can slide the nose wire through it so when you are doing the top stitch don't let it go cl too close to the stitch line you leave a little space okay so I'm done stitching doing the top stitching in the bottom stitching the next thing is to add the elastic so i'll take my two elastic i'll hold the ends together tie a knot for one then the other one i'll hold it together and tie a knot the elastic is 14 inches long okay so what i do is i put the toggle on this turn then i hold it to the center i hook it then i put the other side on it then i put i pull it right through so i have this one i'll do it to the other one the same way pull it right here. so my two elastics are ready so what I'll do is I fold it like one eighth then fold maybe one inch or less you fold it as much as the elastic can move freely in it then you put one side of the elastic in it so this is how you do it you fold and you fold again and you put just one side of the elastic you feed it through it 
you put it down I normally put my tag on this side so if you have a tag you can just put it there and you pin it and you go to the other side you fold you can put one side of the elastic down then you fold again 0 0.75 inches will be fine yeah 0 0.75 inches will be fine one inch will be too big okay so you fold with one side of the elastic in then you pin it now you take it to the sewing machine you stitch on here and you stitch on the other side I'm now done stitching both sides so you take the elastic and you pull it for the knot you tied to enter you feel it somehow around the center you pull the knot and you feel it in the center okay so you can choose to stitch it for it to stay in place or you can choose to leave it just like that so our mask is almost done so now if you would like to add your um, nose wire there is a space here this is where you put the filter if you want to add a filter you can put it in here it goes all the way, way to where there is a space all up in here to where the tag is so you can put your filter then if you like to put in the um, nose wire you slide it through that small part there then you keep okay so you eyeball to see if it's centered then that is it you have your nose wire in there but I, as i said in the beginning this mask works so well even without a nose wire it covers you there are no spaces around your nose and it doesn't fog your glasses when i wear glasses i don't worry about it and i've had reviews on my Etsy shop saying they they've never had foggy glasses wearing this so this is one of the best masks you can have on the market and let me um, uh, show appreciation to Daisy Mortifica because um, I got the pattern from Daisy Mortifica and I will be um, putting the link to her pattern down in the description below so that you can download it and use it and she has a video if you can't print you she teaches how to draw the pattern yourself I, I will set for that one too and link it down below for you so that you can use it i really appreciate you sticking by with me and kindly do subscribe share this with your friends and like it so that other people also can have access to it thank you so much and also don't forget to hit the notification button so that whenever i put a new video you will be able to be notified and watch it. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.